This tutorial video shows how to export 3D and 2D views from Revit to Visicon. When exporting from Revit, select which views to export using the Include Views options. Let's go to a Revit model. Here we've opened up one of Revit's mechanical samples. And as you can see on the left side in the project browser, there's a listing of 3D views as well as 2D views. I've opened up a few of those. So here's the default 3D view. Here's a selection box called 3D plumbing. Here's another one that's isolating certain HVAC components in one of the rooms. And then here's an example of a 2D plan that has been created. So the objective here is to allow the user to set up these views in Revit and to be able to easily bring those over to Visicon so the individual who's viewing the model in Visicon trying to resolve issues or to just do run quality control on the model has access to these preset views. Once you've installed Visicon, you would have your Visicon plugin tab right here. And under the export options, we'll go ahead and open this up. You'll see under the include, there's a section called views. And this was updated in the 1.3 release. When we open this up, we can see you have the option of exporting no views. So this just exports the basic components and the default 3D view, the current view, so that's whatever view you're on all 3d views so this just you know isolates it down to the 3d views all views so that's 3d and 2d views or specified views so that allows you to pull from all predefined views and only select that specific one so we're going to go ahead and do all views and start the export process so we've now completed the export process and we're in Visicon. As a quick orientation, here's the main model. If you select any component, you can access all of its properties through the object properties and you have three levels of access to data from Revit components. We'll close that. On the right side under the project browser is how we interact with the model itself. And if we open up here, this list of views, we can now see that there's the default 3D view, which we're in. But now we also have access to all of the views that we exported. So for example, if we come in here, so this is now one of those section boxes that was defined as a 3D view in Revit. Color coding here is based on component type. I can switch this to material type. I can switch it to color by discipline, color by Revit family. So you have a lot of options to be able to display this information using Visicon's standard colorization modes. We'll stick with the color code by material. And if you want to say further isolate some of these components, so we're going to go ahead, select the slab, right click, select similar category, right click, and do transparent. So here now this is set up almost exactly the same view that you had in Revit. We'll keep going down. And so here we're exploring some of these various views that we have. If we come to some of these floor plans, like let's take this one right here. So this is the floor plan level one HVAC plan. What's nice about how Visicon handles it is we not only have the 2D projection of all of the components that were part of that 2D plan in Revit, but now the user who receives this can also rotate this plan and have access to the 3D components that were making up that 2D plan. So they can see and verify what's there on top as well as what's there on the bottom. So here, for example, you can see that there were actually multiple of these individual horizontal elements that made up one 2D line in the 2D plan. So in summary, what you can now easily do is using the export options of views, set it up so that all 3D and 2D views are automatically exported from Revit directly into Visicon. Thank you for watching our video. Contact sales at visicon.com to request your free intro version. The capabilities that I just showed you now are part of our free viewer version.